Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So the download I was hearing is smooth operator. Okay, there's something that you are about to be operating very smoothly, or there's something that is going that's going to go smooth for you that you are not expecting to. Okay, there's something that's going to be going in sync and you're not expecting things to just go according to plan. You guys are being given some type of olive branch after being slung into some type of BS, okay? What I'm getting is you guys are the slingshot energy. So there is something that you were being flung into unexpectedly, but it's going to work out in your favor. So there is somebody that might be coming in that wants to come to terms with your boundaries, wants to come to terms with the, this version of you that you are becoming, and they want a fresh beginning with you. Somebody now wants to work in unison with you, and they want to break free of whatever um, could have been going on. I don't know if this is fighting. We're going to get into it. You guys are learning how to truly be bad. Comment down below, I'm the baddest, duh. I'm a wild one. I am learning new things daily. I'm also seeing that some of you guys could be purchasing a new home or you could be moving or thinking about moving. I'm seeing that for some of you guys, your living circumstances could be changing. So you're thinking about moving to another state. You're thinking about purchasing your first home or even just renting a home, leaving an apartment or a condo or a townhome. I'm seeing that there is something that you want to put into your home. Maybe normally you guys don't look at your home a certain way and you guys are trying to rebuild that. Or you're realizing like something about feng shui or the energy in your home. You guys are reorganizing the energy in your home. You're getting rid of things. You're clearing things out because you feel very celebratory. You feel like there's all of this stability coming in. So you wanna get rid of things that are just cluttering your, your mental, okay? There are some things in your home that were clouding your judgment, that were clouding your intuition. And somebody's going to be proposing something to you. So some of you guys could be getting engaged and this is why you're feeling very celebratory. Some of you guys could be moving in with your person. I'm just seeing that you guys have a lot to celebrate. You guys could be seeing 1111. I'm also getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you guys are gonna be very busy. Very, very busy. Celebrating, working hard on something. I feel like some of you guys are planning a wedding Comment down below if you are. I feel like some of you guys are planning a big move or a wedding. Or you're planning the launch of something. Okay, some of you guys could be launching a spiritual business. Some of you guys could be a tarot reader. But I'm getting, some of you guys are launching a business, planning a wedding, or buying a home. It's something really big that you guys are planning. I'm just saying that you have a lot to celebrate. And you guys, like I said before, confirmation, you guys are learning to be vulnerable with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Have these really hard conversations. So maybe it was hard for you to be in relationships and you're seeing that you are truly loved, that you are worthy. And anybody that's trying to rival with you, they're going to have to agree to disagree. You guys aren't dealing with this type of jealousy or envy at this time. You are not acknowledging it. Okay? So there's some people that are on their worst behavior and you are not acknowledging their BS because you're in your merriment. I love that. So you guys could be seeing 555 right now. You could be seeing 333, 222, most of all 1111. But I'm seeing that you guys are going to be supported. You guys are walking away from toxic relationships, whether it's family, you guys are breaking up connections that don't serve you anymore. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are really private about this new, this new thing. 
if it's a spiritual business, if it's a social media platform, whoever's been trying to drag you into some drama, you are realizing like, no, I'm continuing my legacy. Oh, some, oh, that, that's the other message I got. You guys could be preparing for the birth of a child. I'm just getting that it's something really big. Like you guys are launching something. You guys are set in motion. You guys have a lot of changes coming in and you are focused on that change and you are focused on celebrating that. Seven of Wands. You guys are working hard on staying grounded. Anything that comes in to disrupt that peace, I just feel like you guys are in this really protective energy of I am going to protect my relationship. I am going to protect my home. I am going to protect my finances. I'm going to protect my marriage, what I'm launching, my business, this, this pregnancy, this engagement, whatever this is, you guys are protecting it. But as you're doing that, you guys have a lot of eyes on you. People that want to penetrate this protection. And I feel like in your subconscious, you guys are worried about heartbreak something bad happening and you guys are being honest with yourself like you know what if this happens what if that happens what if this happens but i see that you are slowly but surely correcting that because you are seeing that you deserve whatever this good news is okay you guys are getting a lot of good news that's coming in because you've been walking away you've been walking away from toxic connections You guys have been stepping into self-care. Yeah, I'm getting a lot about pregnancy and launching things. So some of you guys were thinking that you couldn't get pregnant. And now that you're getting pregnant, you're like, what if something bad happens? But you're really trying not to worry. Okay. And then some of you guys are launching a business or YouTube channel. And you're like, what if they laugh at me? What if they do this? What if this happens? And you're like, I can't do that. I can't cause unexpected stress for yourself. Okay? So your shadow could be trying to drag you into some bullshit. And you guys are learning how to lighten your load. You are learning how to ask for help. So comment down below. Is it, It's okay to ask for help. It is okay for me to ask for help. There are some concerns that you guys have with finances because you guys could be joining finances because of this business, this union, or this baby. And the divine wants you to know that you are safe. You are safe. Because you guys are learning how to not be so aggressive with like, this is my shit, back it up. You're like, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. But like really believing that like everything's going to be fine. Comment down below. Everything is awesome. Okay. You guys just, um, you guys think a lot. I'm just seeing that you guys are going to have success. You might have some bumps along the road, but I'm seeing that you guys are going to flip those obstacles as soon as they come in. As soon as you guys get wind of something that could go wrong, you guys are really fast going to correct it so i'm seeing that you guys are correcting little surprises snags hiccups i see that you guys have a lot of romance coming in following your heart is really going to serve you right now more than ever following your intuition really diving into your spirituality is going to serve you more than ever you guys have an inner knowing there's some type of call that you are heeding. You are getting a new beginning. Comment down below. My new beginning is here. I am enjoying my spiritual awakening. I have unlimited potential. I have unlimited potential. There is a call. You guys are stepping into your purpose. You guys are stepping into your purpose. This is being ignited. Yeah, you guys are worried. You might be getting irritated. You're learning how to soothe yourself and you're learning how to de-escalate. 
I like that. Comment down below. I am learning how to de-escalate things that worry me. I am learning how to de-escalate things that stress me out. So you guys feel like you're in choppy waters. You feel like there's all this good stuff coming in, but you're like, is it really safe to like be happy because I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop? Um, Spirit wants you guys to exercise, do yoga right now, or go out in nature. If you guys have been waiting for an offer on a house or a legal matter, they don't want you to worry. You're going to have much to celebrate. I love that. So there was something going on that was a serious situation. And Spirit is saying, don't worry. Don't worry. You are being launched to, to success. Even if you feel like, well, I don't know. And I just feel like there's too many things set in motion. Something's going to be more than fair. Order is being restored. So comment down below. Order is being restored. Something's being finished. So let's get some tea whoa so there might be a couple people that are salty with you because things are going to be working out in your favor Ooh. so for some of you guys you have a divorce that is going to be final okay you guys are severing it doesn't have to be a divorce you guys are just severing ties with a narcissist in your life they're extremely salty so this person's programming or the things that they would say to you could be stuck in your subconscious and you're trying to figure out how to soothe maybe they told you like you're never gonna be anything no one's ever gonna marry you you can't do this you can't buy a house you're never gonna be financially okay and these things are playing in your mind so for some of you guys this could be somebody that you're divorcing and for some of you guys this could be a parent where their old programming is playing in your head while this other ish is taking place you're like no i should be celebrating i should be so happy i should be so excited but for some reason somebody's voice is playing like a broken record wanting you to go back to this old version of yourself comment down below the old version of me is dead and gone the old version of me is dead and gone spirit really wants you guys to focus on what you do for entertainment your hobbies things that you do for leisure, and things that you enjoyed as a child. This will help your inner child, especially if this has to do with family and the toxic things that they would say to you. Um, I feel like there is a mother or a father here that is very competitive with you. They don't want you to have anything nice. They don't, they don't, they downplay or discredit the things that you're working on. So maybe sometimes you guys naturally do this. Maybe you don't even say it out loud, but you guys are sorting it out. Comment down below. Nothing's going to get me down. I am going to keep shining. I no longer dim my light for others. I no longer dim my light for others. Nope. We also have 10th house. So as you guys are learning how to bring new programming, you are breaking family patterns. So maybe some of you guys are like, oh, my, my house was very chaotic. My family's very toxic. I'm scared to get married. How is that going to work out? I don't want to be like my father. I don't want to be like my mother. Some of you guys could be having a child and you're like, I don't want to be like my mother and I don't want to be like my father. And so there's a lot of work that you're doing in your fifth house surrounding children and family and things that make you happy and there's a lot going on in your 10th house where you are looking at your own ambition you are breaking down what your ambition looks like your rank in society your achievements your accolades and your social class so all of this there's a lot of change unfolding for you so you're just like oh my gosh can I maintain this? And then, you know, you got your shadow telling you stuff. You got your ego telling you stuff. You got your mom's voice playing in your head that you're not going to make it or never amount to shit. 
and comment down below. The bullshit I hear sometimes is fake news. The family patterns that want to stay, that's fake news, okay? Tell yourself, that's fake news. That might be for everybody else, but that's not for me. You are giving yourself a fighting chance, okay? You guys could be getting married. I got another confirmation. So you, uh, I feel like you guys have psychic knowing and psychic hearing. Because I feel like you're not in contact with some of these people, but like you can hear their opinion. So maybe this is what's playing in your head. You're hearing them say, oh, they got engaged. Oh, they're just doing it for attention. It's not going to last. Like you can hear them. You psychically know and hear that they are saying these things about you, okay? And this is trying to disrupt the things that you're trying to build. Like, oh, they're going to end up divorced. Oh, they're going to be a terrible parent. Oh, they're never, this person's going to leave them. Oh, their wedding's going to be dog shit. Oh, they're not intuitive. They can't start a spiritual business, okay? We got toxic ways and hooked. Some of you guys could be a recovering addict or alcoholic. And some of these people are so toxic. And the reasons why you've walked away from them is because they want to trigger you in a really bad way as you are in recovery. Okay. So like for me, I am in recovery and I don't go around certain family members because it's just not, it's just not, it's just not the vibe. Okay. They are not supportive of my sobriety as they should be. And you guys are seeing that. There are people that want to pull you back into your toxic ways to where you are numbing yourself. And you're like, I am never going back there. You guys are realizing like, you're never going back there. Never. Confirmation because I just got a notification on my phone. Th these people want you to be stressed out. They're saying like, oh, they don't handle stress well. They don't handle stress well. But they also don't take stress off of your plate so they can mind the business that pays them. You need some busy, busy bodies in your family that talk a lot of shit or ex-friends or an ex that talks a lot of shit. They're saying really nasty things and I want you guys to tell yourself, well, that's fake news, okay? That's fake news. My cutoff game is real. My cutoff game is strong. That is fake news. Anything that they are trying to drag me into is fake news. I want you guys to call back your energy. I call back my energy from any entity, any BS, any person that is trying to steal from me. I call my energy back now. And any energy that does not belong to me, I release. I give it back now. Okay? Comment down below, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. So I want to get some affirmations for you guys. We got purpose. I know what I am here to do. You guys are hearing a lot right now because your third eye is opening and your crown chakra is opening. You guys are getting a lot of downloads. You feel like your psychic abilities are all over the place. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to hear all this BS. It's like a channel I can't turn off. They're like ads you can't turn off or you can't skip. So comment down below. I know what I am here to do. These people are trying to make you feel like you are not the high priestess, like you are not the star. What? You know what you are here to do. You don't need their validation. Okay. You guys are also getting better at communicating how you feel with the people that you care about. Remember, you're stepping into Empress energy. And this could definitely be a mother that's trying to trying to rain on your parade. You have all of this love and light coming in, you know, being ruled by Venus. I feel like you guys are a romantic at heart. So comment down below. I believe in the impossible. My fairy tale is here. Like you're going to be a, a, a wonderful parent. You guys are going through a lot of change right now and you should be really proud of yourself. So we have change. I understand 
that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Us moving all the time is so important, okay? They want us to be stuck, stagnant. They want us to be in hangman energy. They want us to be stalled. They want us to be, pro to be procrastinating. And we are worthy of these blessings. It's like Eminem and 8 Mile where they're like, Oh, he's not going to get up there. He's not going to get up there. They're, this is what they're doing. And they're like saying it over and over and over and over again. And you hear it. You hear this echo chamber of toxicity. You're like, I can hear them saying they're never going to, they're never going to do it. They're never going to do this. They're never going to be that. Comment down below. That is fake news. That is a wrap. Drop your scissors. You already know. Okay. You guys already know. Indecision. They are trying to project indecision onto you. Maybe normally that you're very indecisive. Like, <gasps> should I set a date? Should I not set a date? Should I try and have a baby? Should I not have a baby? What should I do? Should I start this business? Should I start it today? Maybe I shouldn't start it today. And this is part of you guys walking away from in, being indecisive, being confused, and procrastinating. So comment down below. I use intuition in all aspects of my life i use intuition in all aspects of my life they better freaking ask somebody how you gonna watch somebody's rapid growth okay how you gonna watch somebody's rapid growth and be like it's not happening it is happening it is happening okay don't be jelly because everything is awesome over here and we're rebuilding, okay? We got grief. I understand that losing something is the opportunity to appreciate it. The only way you're going to appreciate this BS, these family members, is from stepping away from it. Losing it is the opportunity to, op <laughs> opportunity to appreciate it. You ever be like, I can't freaking stand them. But then you're far away and you're like, okay, I will appreciate you and have compassion for you from way over here. Just don't talk to me. Okay? Just don't talk to me. So we have a lot about the sacral chakra. Maybe this is the chakra that you're focusing on next. Because you are working on the things that you truly deserve. Yep. You guys are definitely going to be working on your chakra. What? You guys are... <laughs> I was going to say shackles and sh sacral at the same time. You guys are definitely going to be focusing on your sacral. Maybe even your root. But look. This is, if not, this is something that you guys should focus on. Okay. So some of you guys are going to be focusing on just your sacral. Some of you guys are going to be focusing on your sacral and your root. And some of you guys are going to be focusing on your sacral and your throat chakra. Okay, it might be different for all of you guys. But what I'm getting is, I know that I cannot change the past. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. You cannot change the things that they've said to you, but you can walk away. You cannot change the things that they've done to you, but you can rebuild. Remember, you guys, you are being catapulted into success. You are being launched into success. You are the catalyst for change. Wow. We got the death card. So I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. You guys are never alone. Okay, you guys are never alone. There are a lot of people that are envying you right now because you finally have good things coming in. What They should be happy for you. Hello? They should be really happy for you. Everyone has different challenges. Everyone has a different path. So comment down below. I find the inner courage. I find the inner strength to face my fears with confidence. You are also learning that worry does not change an outcome. You are learning that worry does not change an outcome. You are learning that it is okay to fail. And you are learning how to release the need to control. I love these. Service. I feel good when I help others. So you guys are going to start helping other people that deserve it. And this could be part of what you're launching, what you're doing. And I'm seeing that you guys are going to be really successful. So you're breaking family chains so you can truly, uh, so you can truly 
celebrate all of the good things that are coming in. But what I'm getting is you guys are getting a lot of downloads about the things that they're saying about you and you have an inner knowing. Do not let their fake news detour you from letting love flourish in your life, from letting your manifestations take place. Don't let them get you hot and bothered and sweaty. Don't let them drag you in to some bullshit because that's exactly what they want to do. Okay, they're sending evil eyes, spell work. They're sprung on the fact that you are living the life that you are that you have dreamed of and you are making baby steps towards that. You are taking steps towards that. That's the hardest part is walking towards it. So be damn proud. T tune out the BS because ain't nobody trying to hear them. Okay, you are healing from the three of swords. Ain't nobody trying to hear them. All they want to do is cause pain and suffering and betrayal three times as hard. And ain't, not, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Not anymore. Comment down below. I am growing up. I am the lion. I move for no one. I want you guys to comment down below how this resonates with you. Let me know what's going on. I love talking to you guys that way. Don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. Drop your favorite emoji. Smash the you know what. Hit the bell. Duh. And I will see you guys in the next one.